Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Kicking off the drive home, welcome to Emerging Artists on Mike FM 105.1. I'm your host, Chris Thompson, and today's guest, we have The Rockets from Ottawa. They're here discussing their debut single called All of the Time, and they also got a new album called Come On and Dance, out now. And without further ado, here they are, The Rockets. How are you guys doing? Good, you? Excellent. Thank you very much. So let's start off with some introductions. Who are you guys? I'm Jeremy. I'm Keith. I'm Camden. Excellent. First question. Uh, are you guys time travelers? <laughs> <laughs> Not that we know of. <laughs> uh, oh, we have a little blast from the past. Like, just to start off, you guys sound very unique, yet so familiar at the same time. How did that come about? How did you guys bring on that 60s rock and roll back into contemporary music? Um, I think the mix came from us all listening to the 60s a lot, but also obviously growing up in these times with all of the music from today. So we were able to recreate the style of the 60s using all that, like guitars, drums and all of that. But we also had access to production techniques that are something that you only find today. Great. Excellent. So when did you guys start playing together? When did you guys form the band? Well, Jeremy and I started playing together um, close to two years ago now. And we met up with Camden about a year and a half ago. Perfect. And you guys are all from the Ottawa area? Yep. Yeah, we're all from Ottawa. Yeah. Cool. I'm from like the downtown area. And then um, Jeremy and Keith are kind of from the east side of the city. So when did you all learn how to play your instrument? Who wants to go first? Uh, I started drumming um, earlier in high school, like probably grade 10, uh, grade 11. And I played guitar before that, uh, probably since I was about 14 or so. Yeah, I started playing guitar when I was maybe around uh, 12 or 13. Just took, took it up as an interest. And I, uh, you know, I'm still playing guitar, but I moved, moved over to bass as well. Right on. Uh, I started with guitar when I was either eight or nine years old. And then I started playing all the other instruments, kind of adding them on year by year. <laughs> cool, cool. I think all of us kind of. Did. Yeah. Excellent. So you guys all play multiple instruments, I assume? Yeah, yeah we we one's kind of, not enough. We all kind of play, uh, each know how to play the same instruments, but we all have our forte. Mm -hmm. And what struck me immediately when I was reading up about you guys is how young you guys are. How old are you? Uh, I'm 16. I'm 19. I'm 20. Awesome. So did you guys all go to the same school? No. We uh, found each other online. I posted an ad looking for musicians to form a band. All right. You guys also worked with an award-winning producer, Mr. Eddie Kramer, who worked with little bands like the Beatles and Zeppelin and the Stones. <laughs> what was that like? It, it was great. Uh, we worked with him during the mixing of uh, a few songs on the album. So it was great to just hear all the stories he had and, uh, and have his, uh, his experience on the album. Mm-hmm. Definitely an honor to be associated with them, for sure. Absolutely. So do you guys already have plans to release more music in the near future? No, we do plan on releasing music in the future, but we don't have specific plans. Like We haven't started working on the next one because we want to. it took a lot of effort to get the first album made, so we really want to take it as far as it can go before we make a second one. Makes sense. It's also yeah. been kind of like hard to... Uh, practice and rehearse and meet up and stuff like that ever since like we were in the same bubble doing the album and all that but it's mm -hmm. like you know there are like safe times to meet up and play and then there are times where it's like kind of frowned upon so it's kind of hard to get new material going right now right and with the restrictions coming in and out all the time it's, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah i'm in a band myself and uh we're kind of in the same boat we started off in the summer and we were able to jam a little bit during uh, you know, the later summer months and then all of a sudden we couldn't work anymore. So, you know, yeah, right. yeah. it's tough out there. Uh, so obviously, like I said before, you guys are clearly inspired by the rock and roll, the 60s sound. But what artists or bands specifically really influence you guys individually? Who wants to go first? I'm a really big fan of the Rolling Stones, the, the Brian Jones era of Rolling Stones. I also like the Beach Boys a fair bit. Uh, Beatles are the number one for me, but I also really like uh, Radiohead, Led Zeppelin, Oasis. Yeah, I like uh, 
similar bands. Like I like the Beatles, the Dave Clark Five, the Beach Boys, also uh, some other lesser known artists from the 60s. And I also like some modern artists like uh, Harry Styles, who kind of have pop and rock at the same time. Very nice. And going through your album, uh, there's one song that I found specifically intriguing just as a, a musician standpoint and like a fan of, you know, classic rock and all that stuff. Um, your song Espresso, which was kind of like a jammy surf groove to it, almost like a, a Link Ray type song. How did that song come about? I just out of my general curiosity. Um, trying to think of how that one came about. Inspired by Wipeout. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah, Wipeout. just all that surf rock. We uh, like switches. Like there's a like kind of a drum solo and a guitar solo, kind of flipping back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something that could just be a bit more fun, less serious, and uh, where we could all we actually switched instruments on that song, me and Camden. So it gave us a chance to have fun on the other instrument. Ah, very cool. Yeah, so that was that was my personal favorite track on the album. Thank you. Absolutely. Cool. Well, we're just coming up on our time right now. Just before I let you go, could you tell us where we can find you or where we can listen to you guys online? Online, uh, you can find us anywhere. We're on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, YouTube. You can also go to our website, therockets.com, and that's The Rockets with a Y. Excellent. Thank you guys for being on the show. Thank you for having us. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Absolutely. That was The Rockets, and here's their song All of the Time on Mike FM 105.1. Mike FM, all of the time. Five one Mike FM. We play what you want.